Well, welcome back everyone to another AI Practitioner Exam Byte. Reviewing the question from the previous episode, asking us which deployment method would be most suitable, the answer is C, managed API service using Amazon SageMaker. The key part of the question was that the team has limited experience and wants to focus on improving the model rather than managing infrastructure, and all the other options require manual management. So today we're going to be talking about MLOps, covering the exam objective, understand fundamental concepts of ML operations, MLOps, for example, experimentation, repeatable processes, scalable systems, managing technical debt, achieving production readiness, model monitoring, and model retraining. Now we should start by looking at what is MLOps. It's actually a fairly simple concept streamlining the process of taking machine learning models from development to production and maintaining them effectively. There are some key concepts of MLOps we need to be familiar with for the AI practitioner exam. Let's look at these now. The first is experimentation. This is where data scientists try out different algorithms, hyperparameters and features to find the best model. Next, we have repeatable processes. This is crucial for ensuring consistency, reliability, and efficiency, using version control to track our training code and automating our machine learning pipeline as much as possible using tools such as SageMaker pipelines. Then we have scalable systems. As your machine learning projects grow, your infrastructure needs to keep up. This could mean using cloud services or distributed computing to handle larger data sets and more complex models. Managing technical debt. Just like in software development, shortcuts in machine learning can come back to haunt you and accumulate very quickly. So it's important to follow best practices, such as using services like SageMaker Feature Store, which we discussed in episode 10, to reuse and manage features across projects. Achieving production readiness. This involves ensuring your model can handle real-world data and traffic. It includes thorough testing, setting up monitoring, and having rollback strategies in place, such as going back to a previous version of a model if a new version doesn't meet expectations. Model monitoring. Once your model is live, you need to keep an eye on its performance. Are the predictions it's making still accurate? Is there any drift in the data? Some examples of questions that need to be answered. And finally, model retraining. As new data comes in or as the world changes, your model might become less accurate. Regular retraining helps keep it up to date and performing well. Remember, MLOps is about bringing together the best practices from DevOps, data engineering and machine learning to create a smooth, efficient pipeline from idea to production. So let's do a review question. In MLOps, what is the primary purpose of implementing continuous model monitoring? Is it A, to increase the initial accuracy of the model? B, to automate the entire machine learning pipeline? C, to detect when model performance degrades over time? Or D, to reduce the computational resources required for model training? Post your answer in the comments and I'll review this question in our next episode. See you then.